Jersey Sports Zone's sectional final wrestling coverage is brought to you by Ocean First Bank. It's a capacity crowd in Morristown for the match of the year. The Green Wave faithful out in full force as number one Del Barton looks to capture the non-public A North sectional title against number two Bergen Catholic. These two New Jersey Goliaths have been on a collision course for this match all year long. It starts at 2.15 and that's good news for Bergen Catholic. Remy Broncato opens things up for the Crusaders with a 12-3 major decision, giving BC a 4-0 lead. After that comes Dominic Brogna with a clear size advantage at heavyweight. He parlays that into a 14-4 major. Bergen Catholic holds an 8-0 lead. We've got a tight one at 106. Bergen Catholic's Brian Melamude faces Del Barton's Chase Quinault. Melamude with the takedown and the turn to close the first period. His 8-5 decision moves that BC lead to 11-0. Del Barton makes noise at 113 thanks to reigning state champion Daniel Jones. This takedown on Chris Nusafora goes into a 7-3 decision. Delby now trails 11-3. But Bergen Catholic responds with back-to-back -back wins. First, it's 120-pounder Noah Kochman scoring a 6-3 decision over Chase Napoloni. Then Aiden Wallace defeats John Hager 3-0 in their 126-pound bout. Bergen Catholic in control with a 17-3 advantage. It's incredibly tight at 132 pounds. Del Barton's Tyler Vasquez has a one-point lead on Ryan Ford, and the Green Wave's lone Beast of the East champion rides out Ford late in the third period to secure a 1-0 win. It's now 17-6. Up to 138, Bergen Catholic's Joe Cangro is back in the lineup and picks up valuable back points in the second period of his matchup with Alessio Parentin. His 7-2 decision makes it 20-6 Bergen Catholic with only six bouts left. But here comes the heart of Del Barton's lineup. Delby's cross Wazalewski goes into overtime with Chris Bacchioni, and Wazalewski scores a key reversal. There's his two. And then Wazalewski rides Bacchioni out for the final 30 seconds. He's got a 3-1 sudden victory win at 144 pounds. Up next at 150 pounds for the Green Wave, Andrew Troshinsky. Here he works a single into a takedown en route to an 11-3 major against Eric Brody. Delby cuts it down to 20-13. A potential state championship preview headlines the 157-pound bout. Bergen Catholic's Nick Fea and Del Barton's Simon Ruiz are ranked numbers one and two at this weight. Ruiz gets the upper hand with this first period takedown. Second period, Ruiz, the Cornell commit, continues to push the pace. He's got another takedown on Nick Fea. Ruiz gets a 4-0 decision win. It's now 20-16 with three bouts left. To 165 we go. And again, we see Del Barton's sophomore standout, Louis Curcio, doing his thing. Curcio cruises by Justin Onello, 14 to four for the major. And you know what that means? We are all tied up. Four straight wins for Del Barton makes it a 20-20 match. And it's a huge one at 175. Del Barton's Vincent Lee leads Pantaleo Varga late in the third, and Lee pads the lead with this scramble takedown. He will notch a 4-1 decision, and Del Barton leads 23-20 with only one bout left. So it comes down to this at 190. Nick Oliveri scores a takedown on the edge of the circle. He leads 3-2 early on A.J. Friccioni. 
but Frigioni storms back in during the second period. His shot reshot works to perfection, and he's got a takedown of his own. Frigioni leads 6 3, heading to the third. And in the third period, he will tack on three immensely key back points via the cradle. It's an 11 5 decision win for Frigioni meaning we've got a tie after all 14 bouts. Unreal, it's 23-23. So that means we go to criteria to find the winner. Both teams' athletic directors and head coaches leave the gym for 10 minutes of discussion. The sold out crowd waited for the decision and it's announced that Bergen Catholic gets the win. <laughs> 24-23 is the final. Criteria J decided this match. That's the most near full points, of which Bergen Catholic led with six. The Crusaders win the non-public A North sectional final in a match that will no doubt live in New Jersey wrestling lore. You know, going in, I just tried to major him. That was the whole key. And I ended up falling short about a point, but I had him on his back, the near fall points, which led into the decision of us winning. And coming off the mat, it's tied 23-23. A lot of things are going through my head. I don't really know what to think. And Coach Bell walks by and gives us one of those fist bumps, and I knew we won, and it was all great feelings. You know, they're certainly up there an intimidating and a great team, dangerous team. But it was great, I, I think, for as a wrestling fan, if you were in the stands, if you were watching it streaming, um, hard pressed to see a better match than that. You know, I hope to get in another match like this, but I don't know, this is one of the craziest matches. I, I think the best match in Jersey history. What have you ever seen to come down to Criteria J? I didn't even though that was a thing until today. But just like, like you couldn't make, script this any better. It's come down to Criteria, to that sort. It was awesome. Reporting from Morristown, I'm Jay Cook with JerseySportsZone.com.